day number two and I'm starting off with something I need to learn. I've been in my bed 48 minutes waiting for whoever's in the kitchen to leave the kitchen because I want to go there by myself. So I definitely need to get used to my four housemates and to the fact that I won't always have the house to myself. Okay, all's well, I got my breakfast. Hmm. Good morning, it's day number two. Today is the welcome fair and we've got um, a stress workshop and fire, alarm, security, something and some other things they can't remember. Ten minutes later, we've still got nowhere. I tend to do that in the shower. Oh my god, what a school. We just finished the health and safety instruction in the new building, which is super nice, and that's apparently where the masters will be training in. So that's gonna be my building, it's so nice. And I made them aware of my animal allergies, animal fur allergies, and they said that they're gonna put up a new policy and email all teachers that they're not allowed to bring in pets because apparently some bring in their dogs sometimes. And now for me, they're gonna change rules and I thought that was absolutely incredible because in the past I've had the case that I got into a school and couldn't go because the teachers liked to bring their pets and they decided to go for the pets over me. Oh man. Main building. I love this mansion. I really need a picture in front of this. Look out for it on my Instagram. <laughs> So this is a device that um, you can put on your bunch of keys and if you're ever in trouble or uh, yeah, if you're ever in trouble, I should say. We got a goodie bag. This is beyond perfect. Just this morning I thought I'd need a keep cup so I could take my coffee for my walk to school. What slash who are you? We got this alarm thing, so whenever you're in trouble, you can press the button and it makes a loud siren noise. A pen and the funniest pencil ever. <laughs> and a lot of flyers about well-being and sweets. Sour sweets, my favorite. Our cafeteria does meal deals, which means the entire meal for 3 .50. Hello, the day's over for now. For now. I'm in my room listening to Beetlejuice, eating the rest of my wrap. I'm just having a bit of me time. It's it's so great. That's also a lot. We also had a library introduction and the library has all the musical theatre books my heart has ever dreamt of. So all the musical theatre books I've looked up on Amazon. They're all in the library and I'm going to get them all as soon as I have my library card. We also had music theory class where we did some singing. We had to match the pitch and then we did a lot of rhythms, clapping and stomping. And then uh, my fellow students stayed behind. Okay, I'm gonna put this off now. Um, then my fellow students stayed behind in the cafeteria for drinks because in our cafeteria you can get like beer and wine and everything. But then there's the 80s party later, but oh god, I'm so exhausted now. Um, I think I'm going to change into a slight 80s outfit and go there and say hi and then come back. Thank god I live so close to the school. It's literally seven minutes walking, maybe five if I walk fast. So that's great. Yeah, I'm just trying to do a couple of things, setting up my uni email and um, checking out all the online material we get to use. There's this website called Digital Theatre and there's a lot of plays and productions that have been professionally filmed and we get to use them, we get to watch them. There's another website called Drama Online with lots of full plays and monologues and everything online. So as students we get free access to them. I just remembered one thing that I didn't mention yet, at least I think I didn't. Today we had a stress slash depression slash anxiety slash mental health workshop which was so good. 
we just learned how to be aware of depression, stress and anxiety, how to deal with them. We were told lots of contact numbers, but we have got um, two therapists available, I think, that we can use. We were told how we can recognize if our friends are struggling with any mental health issues. And I thought it was so good that we were made aware of these things on day two. Yeah, that's a sign for a good school. And now it's seven o'clock, which means the 80s party is starting and I'm so exhausted, but I never had a proper social life, not social life, student life before. And I tend to be rather unsocial, so I decided I'd be very social and go to all the events this time. But I am exhausted and, you know, classes haven't even begun yet. We started at 10 today and we were done at like, what? four, five, five? Um, when school starts properly, we'll be there from 8.30 to 10 past six every day until eight on Mondays, until nine on Thursdays. And I'm this exhausted now. <laughs> this is my outfit. My black t-shirt's just arrived. We need to wear black for lots of classes. And I didn't own any black t-shirts. Now I do. And I'm going to wear one of these. I'm going to tie it up with these amazing shorts. Ah. Now, that was hilarious. It was so empty. There were a couple of people I know, so I danced a bit with them, talked a bit. Um, but I was literally there for 20 minutes and now I'm going back. Right. But that's good, because I was really tired. And everyone complimented me on my shorts. That's pretty. <laughs> okay, I'm glad to go back. This was a busy day. And tomorrow will be just as busy.